All right, I'm gonna let you go off the phone. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can I can hear you on the uh Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why I can't hear anything on my mic. Uh, oh, hang on. Let, let me hang up with you on the phone. All right. I'm going to try on YouTube. Just give me one second. We should be good, right? We're okay oh, yeah. now? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Guys, I want to tell you, uh, we, we got to tell you the story for coming in here. I I'm, I want to tell you how much fun live is. And uh, I'll explain the story here in a little bit too. But I want to thank everyone in the chat here for just hanging in there. Uh, I said we we're going to probably be 15 minutes late. And Bruce, look at what time it is, my man. Mr. Pod Slayer. Mr. Yeah. Pod Slayer. That's right. So why don't you, by the way, Give me one second. I'm going to introduce everyone in the chat. I want to welcome them all in. And then I'm going to have us discuss the chaos that's been pursuing here, ensuing in the background, because you got to laugh at it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's funny as anything. Uh, the Bud Files, welcome. Combat Carl's Fan Club, welcome. Moderators, please, uh, if you would, uh, watch out for uh, any nonsense out there. And... You know what to do. Report them first and then block them. Thank you. Uh, 351 Cleveland, thank you, my man. You're the man. I appreciate everything you do. Freelancing tips for beginners, Christy Angelo. Um, first and foremost, Christy, thank you so much for being here. Um, it's a pleasure having you here today. Oak by Bettina, uh, another awesome account. Thank you so much. Lisa67 Vlog, thank you for being here. Cat catching them fish. Good seeing you here, man. I think this is uh, second time. Second time. 717 Detector, thank you. Tim Molina, thank you. Alona Duro, thank you so much ha for having you here. Uh, we've been going back and forth uh, all across the world. I want to thank you for being here. Z Apple, and I'm not going to say Z, I think it is. Welcome here. I, I want to thank you for coming in. Uh, okay, so let me see. 351, Tim Molina, we got everyone so far. Uh, Sheena, thank you for being here. Uh, oh, Carleen, Geisha, how you doing? Great account, guys. Great account. We all know Sheena's is awesome, too. If you're not following, uh, please give it a look. Uh, let me see here. Novi, Acoustic Vlog, thank you very much for being here. A Pod Slayer, that's right. It's Bruce. Bruce, Pod Slayer. This is no small slow cheese stuff. Yeah, it's him. It's him. Uh, give me one second here. Mom, she Bing, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're just having a pop up here, kind of uh, put this thing together last night. Handicap traveler, welcome. Wendy, welcome. Um, the reason I wanted to do this with Bruce is because Bruce is the one that's been sending us peppers, and today some. But I, you got to hear the background story here of absolute mayhem, guys. Bruce, why don't you share the last five to ten minutes? of you trying to prep tell tell the world what that's like right now well keywords were tried <laughs> uh, well one of the things that helps me prep my stomach is drinking uh milk beforehand so that way uh when the chewed up pod lands in my stomach it dilutes the milk well uh i had a half gallon of milk i just bought like three four days ago 
and I went to uh, start drinking a cup of it, and uh, after the first swig, it was uh, the stinking thing was spoiled. So I didn't even get one swig of milk. <laughs> and, and, so. and I literally, when you saw the message coming up, guys, I literally opened my eyes. I was out cold, like a you know, dead, dead out. So I have had zero prep for this, uh, except for what I ate a while ago, and I'm I'm okay with that because you know, hey. So I had a, I had a can of mushroom soup. Uh, oh, you, did it work? Ago. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, good, I mean, good, I'll good. find out if it works or not. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I heard is cream corn works real well after the fact. Yeah. Uh, for cramps and stuff, but you know, you never, you never know. Uh, uh, I did potatoes. They don't work for me. Pasta works for me. Meat works for me. Anything else work for you? Peanut butter or? Uh, peanut butter helps, but the problem is I thought I had peanut butter and was even at Walmart earlier uh, getting other stuff and uh, let my roommate take the car to go to work uh, earlier this afternoon and only discovered uh, when it was too late that uh, they didn't have no peanut butter, so I had to go for a can of mushroom soup that was meant to go with the meat. <laughs> so, hey, I'll by live. the way. <laughs> yeah, we have, you, know, you know, it's it's all about that. You know, <laughs> one uh, way or another. You know, and and on top of it, guys. So I I leave a text here. Bruce is going through this. I say, give me five. Bruce, you can deny this is true. If give me five, it's actually ten or fifteen minutes because I can't find any of my equipment. None of it. My my wife did some cleaning. I can't. I don't even know where it is. So I'm using everything I could find in bits and pieces around the house. So this is perfect. You guys are actually going to get an unscheduled kind of a, I don't know, uh, you're going to get a show today based on no prep or very little prep, I will say. Um, anyway, Bruce, thank you so much for coming on. And uh, I, do you have any more peppers left after these are consumed, by the way? Uh, I mean, I got tons of peppers. Most of them are on my plants, uh, not ripened. Just uh, uh, temperature outside has uh, cooled down quite a bit, so right. ripening uh, process has uh, slowed down quite a bit. I do have uh, a bunch of other peppers on my desk right now. I've been taking them off the plants. Once they start getting some color and bringing them in, it's helped them uh, ripen uh, quickly because if you don't get them off the plants soon enough, uh, they can go soft and go bad. So right. I've had to do that it's just so I wouldn't lose uh, you know, peppers that are in the middle of ripening. Right. Well, I, I do have a variety on my desk right now. <laughs> well, I want to welcome some more people in. Then I want to continue on with that. Wendy, by the way, Southern Sewn and Grown is is awesome, guys. If you don't know her, you need to uh, check her channel out. She does so many things, and she's got a Southern accent that I could only dream of upside down in a circus while I'm going through a flip off a trapeze after bouncing on a trampoline, doing the rings, and being shot out of a cannon at the same time. That is the accent that I would have. Nets, welcome here. Aspie, welcome. Guys, great people, little chef. Joanna Hanna, wow. Got some got some big people in here, guys. Thank you. Randall Rhino Outdoors, thank you so much for being here. Sheena, again, Mom Shi Bing, thanks for being here. Uh, you guys are all awesome. So, Bruce, what kind of plants do you grow? Uh, we've been doing all, all Bruce's peppers here for a while, guys. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about your peppers? Um, so, uh, I do grow a few of the mild or regular hot varieties. Usually, I, uh, those ones that I grow are for friends and co-workers and even my bosses. Um, but uh, for myself, it's just a uh, uh, large number of varieties of super hot peppers. It's for like making sauces, playing around with, doing things like this. <laughs> it just gets expensive. Uh, buying already made sauces from other people because these bottles of hot sauces can average between 15 and 30 dollars uh, a bottle and when you go through individual bottles and within a week's time like i do it gets a little too expensive so i thought i would have fun making uh growing the peppers myself and then making them and, you know uh saving money so and and bruce is a maniac there's no definition of pod slayer without the word maniac for doing pods because he actually really likes them. Me, I'm kind of neutral on it, as you know, but I mean, I really do like to see, I'm waiting, Bruce, for that one pod that lights me up, right? I mean, that really... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen with you. You got tolerance. You got a monster tolerance. And well, if those chocolate bootlets don't get past the two, I don't know what will. Well, uh, you know, I, I don't even... 
uh, you're the only person I watch, period. I don't even look at that because well, thank you. Yeah, it, it's what one of the things I found uh, everyone uh, has their own deal, right? So with you, you know, it's painful because you're probably one of the best explainers of heat uh, that I know of. And by the way, it's genuine. I know that. So it's it's not comp competition. Um, Charlene Geisha, thank you. Aspie, thank you. I want to make sure we touch base with everyone here. Pike on a trike. That's a good one. Wow, we got some names coming in here, Bruce. You're really pulling in the draw because me, I'd get like one person. Uh, let me see here. And by the way, Nets, no, you're not late, you sweetheart. No, you're not late. Um, you know, it's funny, guys, because usually I'm about 15 minutes off. But today, uh, it was all due to me. So that's kind of cool. Warren Directo, thank you so much for being here. Stickman Outdoors. Adventure, Stickman Outdoor Adventures, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Emily Blessings, smash the like, guys. Smash that like if I could. And also hit the share out button on your community tab. Share out, please. Thumbs up and share out if you would. Uh, let me see. Tim Molina, welcome. Tim Molina, welcome. You know, we're hitting the last part of a lot of people's workday. Anything you'd like to say before we go to our slow, miserable, death-eating primatales? you want to tell about the primatale a little bit? Uh, I mean, I've been a follower of uh, uh, another chili head. Uh, a lot of people know him, Johnny Scoville from uh, YouTube channel Chase the Heat. Um, that's actually where I got my inspiration to, uh, you know, chase these super hot peppers. Um, it was originally uh, me seeing videos on YouTube of people trying uh, – couple peppers I had never heard of before, the ghost pepper and the Carolina Reaper. And I've actually been uh, doing uh, pepper eating challenges since I was 13 years old with habaneros. That started with, uh, I was at a Christian's Children's Center when I was uh, 13 and we... Just froze up here, guys. Give him a second. Just give him a second. Um, can you see me? Glitch here. We lost a computer during the middle of transmission. So we are on the tablet or something, right? Yeah, there you go. Guys, thank you. I want to welcome some other people in here. Uh, okay, let me I'm see. I want to connect my uh, headphones. I got to turn my Bluetooth on. That way we don't get the uh, echo from my 
uh, Very cool. volume. And I'm going to go through and read the rest of the people in chat when you hook that up, okay? Hello. Sister Winnie, uh, Sister Winnie, I hope I'm not going to go to he he double hockey sticks here today. Uh, welcome in. You're my uh, always welcome here. Fishing time. Let's go. Welcome, buddy. Quiet listener. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming in again. Carlene Gisha, thank you so much. All right. Yeah, I can hear your voice perfectly there. Can you hear? You can hear us now, right? Can Team David, yeah, welcome. Okay. Guys, this is right, what's going to happen. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Yep, yep. I can hear you all right, perfectly. Cool. All right, I'm all, I'm all set again. Okay. You're a little bit of a lag screen-wise. Oh, there you go. You're perfect. Uh, okay, so we're back. Team David, thank you for being here. Nets. Ray Diggs, thanks for coming in. Um, okay, so we are eating primatales. Primatales are, what, 2.2 million tops on the Scoville heat units? Around there, yeah. Okay, so you want to have one and just have one pepper, or what do you want to do? Uh, I'll down them both at the same time. <laughs> uh, you, oh, you're going to do, do them both? At, you want to do them both at the same time? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I've got Yeah, that's my two. thing. I like doing multiple. Okay, so here's multiple primatales, guys. These are, look at the nastiness of those. Show them to everyone, Bruce. The nastiness one of these One of them peppers. is on a small side, just because uh, it's what was ripe on my plants, but then I got the, uh, you know, let's see if you can see that. Hey, Jareel, how are you doing? Yeah, no, it's, it, you know, Baker, Baker, welcome. Hey, listen, Jared, I appreciate you coming in, bud. I know you're a busy, busy, busy dude. Baker, Baker, awesome having you here. Well, so today, guys, I just wanted to bring for the people that are arriving here, we are going to do two primatales. Uh, Bruce started his prep by drinking rotten milk. Then I didn't even do prep today because I just woke up. I mean, literally, before we started, 15, 20 minutes ago, I just woke up, and I haven't done any prep, which is going to make this all that much more fun. We know that. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> 2.2 .2 million Scoville. What do you think of these peppers so far this year? Do you like these? Uh, oh, I love them just because they're so darn hot. <laughs> and, and I want to tell you the last primatales that you sent me, were uh where thank you for coming in uh, missouri outlaw randy i hope you're safe out there uh by the way Mer missouri randy is a trucker and he's driving through the hurricane he was in the eye of the hurricane this morning you madman uh and, and he's still here to live that's good sign good sign sarcastic storage stacker yeah it should be fun there but and sarcastic storage stacker by the way do you have do you follow sarcastic storage stacker bruce uh, I honestly haven't heard of him. Sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. Bruce just Bruce is really um, he does paintballs. He repairs paintball guns. He's a big paintball or he knows some semi pro if not pro guys. And one of his funnier videos was the guy that did your pepper, right? You you gave him some pepper. Oh yeah, paintball. pro paintballers. Yeah. Yeah, and they almost <laughs> died. What you you can give a, a, a summary funny. of that in the thirty seconds. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it was uh, a couple uh, members, legendary members of this uh, um, this paintball, this professional paintball team. Um, it's uh, called Team Dynasty. They're like the most well-known uh, professional paintball team for like the past more than 20 years. And I became buddies with uh, um, a few of the members on there. And they were doing, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, crazy food challenges. And uh, they wanted to do something spicy, and I I got a hold of them before anybody else uh, could, and I said, hey, I grow peppers. I was like, you want me to send them to you these peppers in this, and that's how we agreed to do it. So uh, <laughs> I was nice, and I I sent them. They were pretty much tallies, but I sent them very small ones. So uh, so then they did that. It was their last video um, before uh, 2022. It was a video called "Say Goodbye 2021." And I think it the. Was they do it like one hour and five minutes into their video. Oh, so if you ever want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, it is very funny, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's hot, hot, hot here, guys. So um, we they're here. Hey, Frugal Mama, thank you for being here. I want to make sure we recognize everyone for coming today, guys, because this is uh, William Newell. Welcome. Welcome. Team David. Team David. Guys, we got some big channels in here, by the way. Thank you all for coming. Um, okay, so we've talked a lot. You have given the story where you ruined paintballers' lives. You're about to do uh, primatales on virtually no prep except for soup. Is that right? Uh, yeah, a single can of soup. <laughs> yeah. 
And I haven't done any because I literally woke up before this. So hold your peppers up. Hold your peppers so they can see them. All right. And we're going to eat two prima tallies at the same time, right? Uh, yep. And the last time I did these guys, I did three at once. And I was I, I actually was backed up a little bit on my heels. Ready? One. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna hold them in two hands. See, right there. One, two, three. Go, go. Immediate heat. <laughs> yeah, make sure you chew them thoroughly. Ooh. These things are really knock mm -hmm. your stomach for a loop. Mm-hmm. Probably mm. gonna have intense anyways, but. Mm. 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 Man. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 I might have swallowed. That is hot. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, I got my favorite towel. Man. We like to use numbers. I'm already at three climbing. <laughs> All right. Ooh. All right. To swallow tongue is at a one or two. Obviously, it's increasing. Lucky you. Man. Woo. The underside of my tongue and throat that's cooking. My I'm, tongue. I'm still at four. My tongue is the only thing that's feeling it. Um, and I'm at a, a two or a three, probably a three now. Um, it's right at the top end. Nothing on the sides, nothing throat. So you know, I always... Tongue. Yeah. Um, still at a three. Four? four? I'm still at a four, yeah. I'm getting any higher. Not yet. Weed oh, hopper, welcome. Ow. Still to three. Got me tearing up, though. Got me tearing up. The throat heat's gone away. Yeah, my yeah. throat is at back at zero, like, like I never eat it, but... The other side of my tongue, it's actually dropping down a little bit. It's just under four. The size of my tongue is just a little bit. It's mainly just under my tongue. Luckily, my stomach's not feeling it yet. I'm at a four. I went up to a four. Yeah, the funny these part. Peppers don't play around. <laughs> if you don't eat them right, you're done. That's true. This is a very teary-eyed burn. I'm at about a, th a three and a half, maybe a three now. Yeah, they, very they, calm. Uh, they jump up real quick, and uh, they start dropping awfully quick. There's other lesser spicy peppers that will linger for way longer. It's just they don't, they don't climb nowhere as high, and they don't uh, climb... Uh, as quickly in the beginning as these three metallies. Back crazy games, welcome. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at three. Well, yeah, I'm at a three. I, I could be a little bit higher, actually. My tongue, and the reason I'm saying that, uh, I can't feel it. I know it's there. My lips uh, actually my, just started my... burning on the sides. Yeah. I just now yeah. felt out my lips for the first time. But it's like a one, but it's just weird. It took so long for that to kick in. This is a consistent. Yeah, I'm at a two, I think. I could be at a four. I don't. I don't really know right now. And then our side um, of my tongue did go down to about two. It's dropping quick. But my, I don't think mine were quite as big as the yeah, primatolis I sent you though. These are. I just didn't have any bigger ones on my plants that were ripe. Probably right here, right in my chest. Yeah. 
Um, tongue, tongue is a two. But I know it's burning. I know it's burning. I just can't. I don't have the sensation. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> one second. Yeah, I think I'm at, <clears throat> I got to seed my throat. Sorry. <sighs> yeah. You know, when I did five of your peppers, when I did those five pre I got up to a uh, 12. And I had to convince myself because I couldn't taste the 12. I knew it was up there. I knew I had to convince myself that my mouth wasn't no. blistering. Hey, everyone. Hope you're doing good. All right. So mine's calming down. Is yours calming down? Nope. 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 I'm not. I. Are you there, Bruce? I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you, Bruce. My big tell, guys, is my eyes water. At a two. They water at a two. Uh, okay. So I'm burning. I got a, I think I'm at a four. Three or four. Uh, whoo! I my ties, sides of my tongue. Uh, one second, I'm gonna see if I can get you back in. Try to come back in, Bruce. All right, guys, it's a great burn. These are such good peppers he grows. They are brutal. Um, now. I know my mouth is on fire. I can't feel it. So I'm in a two, physically pain. But the back of my throat, the back of my throat, it's like I have a seed sitting there. That's why I drink water. Woo! And, and I, I don't have it there. It's not there. So it must be the peppers. And I don't have the same sensation. Uh, now... That helped. Water helped there. Uh, tongue is tingling. Okay, here, Bruce. Here we go. Oh. Add to the stream. Got your back, buddy. Yeah, what What happened? You just dropped did out. Did I lose connection or did you? I think, I think you just dropped out. Could well. be either of us. I got a pretty good internet here, but doesn't mean it works perfect. <sighs> oh, Alvin Lewis. We're we're dying here, man. Me, I'm I'm at a really good, definitely a, a physical two burn. But I feel uh, like the lower part of my the lower part of my my tongue is at a four. I feel it. I just can't feel it. Well, I'm down. You, I'm down at a one. Uh, both part of the tongue and my lips. Yeah. It dropped pretty the, quick for me. Yeah, and it's still hanging for me. Still hanging. <laughs> Uh, let me introduce some people here. Stickman, thanks for hanging with us. Sheena, thank you. Tin Man Magna Fishing, thank you. Aaron, oh, buddy. Uh, yeah, my eyes are are tearing, but they always do it about a two. Um, this, these peppers could be hotter than the one, last ones you sent me. Oh, because yeah? Because I'm having to convince myself what the heat level is. I can't tell physically. So... I'm thinking, I'm thinking because my throat was tingling like that, I felt like I had a seed in the back. I felt like it was a little bit hotter. Uh, what are you at now? It's still, it's under one, uh, under my tongue. My lips are actually, it's like the front side of my lip right here. Yeah. They're actually still at a one. And okay. I normally don't even get a uh, lip burn at all, ever. Very rare. I think I burned a little bit hotter than you, maybe, on these. That's my that perception. Be first. Well, my perception is <laughs> um, I don't do a lot of heat stuff, guys. Uh, I do peppers. And. Um, well, there's a good reason why I wanted you to eat two at once. <laughs> right. You right. always seem to handle one at a time 
even better than I do. So I wanted to see what would happen if you uh, pop both at once. <laughs> well, I, when I was with the uh, when I was with the computer guy, I did three of them. Uh, and I, I've done I've done three primatales, I think I think two or three times. Um, well, I, I found that like popping like two of them in your mouth at the same time, yeah. chewing them up like both both in your mouth at the same time. At least for me, it was obviously always uh, uh, it's hotter for me than uh, just doing one after another. That's why I wanted to see what would happen because I, uh, I I've I, never really seen you tap out on anything. <laughs> no, uh, this was I'm just a being really mean. no. This is a really good burn. I mean, it was a really good burn. Uh, um, what I felt, I'm down to a, I don't know, below it, a, a below it too, definitely. Um, but these last me for about 15 minutes, and then they start nose diving. Um, I think 16 minutes was the last one I did. I think 16 minutes was the previous ones I did too. But um, these primatales are. I want to tell you, if you're not used to a primatale, what do you think? Uh, they'll get, they'll get you. Yeah, they'll get you. These, these are just on another level. That Carolina, I've never had a Carolina Reaper that was hot as the uh, mildest primatale that I've ever eaten. Right, right. But I have had, you know, a pro I've probably eaten at least about 150 Reapers since I started eating super hot. So. Yeah, it says something for the Primatale. Right. Um, yeah, I'm feeling right up here. This is really rare for me. Really rare, right here. Um, I guess if I, like my second time I've ever felt that. I chewed real yeah. good. Did you, sw did you chew really good? Oh, yeah, I, I know better than to not to. You don't Woo! chew really good, then you're going to have uh, larger chunks of the pepper that's going to be concentrated in, uh, yeah. in localized areas in your stomach where you want to chew them up so the capsaicin spread. Because if you don't, it's going to feel like you got a cigar. Uh, somebody's putting a cigar out in your stomach lining, and that's not fun. Yeah, yeah. Bless Michelle. Welcome. Adrian, welcome. It's Art by Donna. Welcome. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, we, I'm going to make sure we recognize everyone in here. Uh, uh, Weed Hopper, Nets, Mom Shi Bing, Steve from Wyoming, welcome. Oh, well, I am definitely down. I am definitely down. Uh, what I'm finding is, I am finding there's less of a there's less of a reality burn for me now. It's more like in my head, I know there's another burn going on, and I just can't. Mm -hmm. I, but I, I know what level I think it is. And that's the level I'm telling you. I think it was a. I think we were at a four today. It's really yeah. unusual because last time I did this, Bruce, I think it was the same way. I was with the uh, the computer dude, and I said I'm convincing myself what this burn actually is. I have to I have to talk my way through it. What are you at now, bud? Hey, Iron Antlers, welcome. Uh, I'm I'm just at the point where I feel tingling on my lips. Everything else is gone. I got on my lips right here. That's all I got. My nose is still running, though. <laughs> no, that, my that's nose probably going to on for right. a good 10, 15 minutes, so that's normal for me. Yeah, I think I think actually you did better than me on these. Um, uh, well, these my peppers some, were, kind of, were smaller, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's, I, I, you know, I'm, I don't know, what do you, do you believe that the size of pepper is the amount of capsaicin? I'm kind of, um, those no, smaller... I think I think that myth is, is has to do with uh, pepper varieties because uh, it just it seems like people who are always uh, who aren't familiar with these really hot peppers. They're familiar with right. peppers like jalapenos and all that, and those are very large peppers. And uh, uh, typically, the the smaller the pepper variety, the spicier. Because a habanero is much smaller on average than a jalapeno, and a habanero is significantly spicier. Same thing with the right. cayenne compared to a uh, a jalapeno. I think that's where that comes from. As far as uh, how concentrated capsaicin is, if you're comparing right. two peppers of the same variety, I'm not sure. I think it just it just depends on how much uh, 
uh, capsaicin, the plant pumps into the pepper. But as far as the size things go, I think that I, it, my thoughts on that is that it that has to do with the uh, varieties uh, back in the day. Because that saying has been around for a long time. I've heard that forever. Yeah. I think it has to do with uh, comparing big peppers like jalapenos to the smaller ones like cayenne or right. thai or habanero. Yeah. That's um, my thoughts on it. What are you at now? Uh, it's like really nothing. I, I have a tiny bit of tingling maybe on this part of my lip, but yeah. it doesn't come close to even qualifying as a one. Just tingling. My tongue is really weird. My tongue is at an unknown pain level right now. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a one. But I feel, you know what, it's like um, I'm feeling warm, but I don't have the sensation of actual warm. It's just, oh, there it is. There it is. I just felt, yeah, yeah, we're at a one. I just got a little tickle on my throat. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. That's why I, I drink water now. The older I'm getting, the more I think I've got a seed in my throat. <laughs> I don't know if you ever have that, but I, I, I feel like I have a seed in my throat. Professional Paranormal, welcome. Trophy Seeker Outdoors. Uh, trophy Seekers, for you guys out there, um, it is Bruce Podslayer Cook. At the end of this broadcast, I'm going to put his link to his channel. Bruce, I call him an independent. He does peppers for the love of peppers. He does paintball guns for the love of paintball guns. Uh, anything else you'd like to add what you do on your channel? Uh, I think uh, pretty much like pepper, uh, pepper reviews, uh, growing peppers, reviewing like hot sauces yeah. and paintball. I do have a couple other random off-topic videos uh, but other than that, that's uh, pretty much what my uh, consistent uh, content is about. Br Bruce's channel is what this is supposed to be like, guys. You come on and you vlog, right? You do stuff about what you're doing in your life, and Bruce is. He's big in paintballs, uh, but also this, too. Scott Swift, welcome. Uh, and, and I am Scott supposed Swift to uh, do a, a target shooting video here soon. Uh, one of my coworkers... Uh, Yep. supposed to uh um invite me out to his house and uh we're going to do some target shooting with our firearms so so well, um that yeah, should be something kind of soon handgun i take it you're just going to do handgun or is it a rifle yeah. or well i have a handgun uh he's got a few fun guns well he's got an ar-15 that he just bought and uh you know i want to get at least a video shoot one of those before they get banned <laughs> Yeah, but bro, Johnny, your pepper is big and it tastes like guava. You know, I want to tell you something. Uh, Bruce's peppers this year, it's like he's he's programming them to be really good peppers. They're just wonderful peppers. Uh, and for all you that just came in, uh, we <clears throat> you have me, Johnny Small Pepper, but our special guest today is Bruce Podslayer Cook, who. Is is just a chill dude, and that's why I hang around with him. See, I got the same feeling in my back of my throat. One second. Uh, Bruce is is just does this for fun. He grows peppers, he does um, paintball repairs, and we just did two at the same time, right? Two at the same time. Red primatales. Uh, Bruce, you got up to a four, right? You got up to a four. Yep, definitely. Yep, yep. And, and I think, honestly, um, I think I was there. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it's really weird for me to give you a rating, guys. Um, I'm thinking I was at a four because I was at the comfort level of not panic, but huge teary eyes, huge runny nose. And pr Prima Tollies for you all out there, I, I guess, I, guys, I'm going to But they run... They run at 2.2 million Scoville heat units. Uh, I saw Jimmy Coles did a review. Uh, did you see the, what was it, what was it called? The, uh, the new Prima Tali he's just done? Um, it was. I have, I have missed the last few of his, uh, his live streams just because he does his, most of his live streams when, uh, and videos when I'm at work. Right. And uh, I'm uh, subscribed to so many people that a lot of his videos end up going way down my uh, 
uh, notification that uh, I, I missed on the one button. And he, he, I think it was a Carmel Primatoli. Oh, and Danny Scoville ate one of them recently and said that uh, yep. he just, uh, just put them out. Uh, when I saw Jimmy do that, because he's done the Tube of Terror, um, and I, I, can't, I don't know if I can, I, I don't know what that would do to me, because I'm so old. But my whole thing is that he did the caramel, and it looked like it really set him back. I mean, I've seen Jimmy do some pretty heavy-duty stuff, and it seemed like it hit him hard, like hard, harder than the red. I don't know. Yeah. I'd like to see your, I like getting your opinion on that. So, guys. Um, I'll tell you the I've done that a couple of times. That that can be a rough ride. You're, you're yeah. going to want to do some prepping to even pass that. At, like prepping as in like uh, uh, training your mouth uh, just to beat that challenge. Because I failed the first time miserably. Like I got through all the peanuts in and, and like six and a half minutes. And uh, I, I didn't even last two minutes after that. And you're supposed to endure an entire 15 minutes of no relief with having all the peanuts eaten within the first 10 minutes. The second time I was training was uh, uh, capsaicin crystals. And I, I actually uploaded uh, like two or three videos showing right. the kind of uh, training I was doing. I was doing some extreme things. And it actually made the tuba tear uh, a walk in the park. And wow. I didn't even, I got up to an eight, but I didn't get past that when I uh, passed it the second time. But right, it's, it's, right. it's a hard challenge. Yeah, and I have, um, I have a whole bunch of things. I just haven't, you know, I, I I don't know if it's lack of interest or if it's time or whatever. You know, we're running. You you run very limited time. But Tina, thank you for coming in. Uh, art it's art by Donna. Thank you for coming, in. Emily. Patty Fish, welcome. Stickman Outdoors, thank you for sticking with. Scott Swift, thank you for your service. Any military person in here, thank you for your service. Or woman. Dance 87, welcome. Uh, NorCal Detecting, thanks for being here, bud. Appreciate it very much. Um, what I think is a big win today is, number one, I finally got you live. Yeah, right. I think that, yeah, yeah. And, That's and my I, first live video as well. Yeah. Well, um, I, what I'd like to do is maybe we can do another one next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we could talk offline yeah, do about that. doing this. Yeah, yeah. Um, cause I got a bunch of peppers. I want to show you, um, what I got from Bruce guys. He's such a generous man. And for me and him, we just go back. It's just for fun guys. Uh, but look at all these peppers he's got. Look at them all. Look at all those peppers. And, um, he does this out of the goodness of his heart. And we, you know, we've been friends for a long time. We've just been going back and forth and it's all good. Uh, but there are, there's literally, I think I, I still have 20 pep, 15 peppers, 20 peppers here. Look at this one. It's like a rocket ship. Look at this. Elon Musk <laughs> could take this, this base. Look at this thing. Look at that one. And that is a, it's a one. That's a chocolate bootla. Uh, I have, oh boy, look at all these different, look at these beautiful ones Let's here. Let's see here. I happen to have a chocolate bootla on my desk too. Another, another little rocket ship. Yeah. I just picked that up yesterday. Uh, it's almost done uh, ripening. I see a little bit of green left on the tip. I Got do you. have a green metallic up here too. Let's see if I can. I hope it didn't fall off my desk. Oh, there it is. But it's like half green. No, it's still, it's got a leaf attached to it. Hey, John. So, John Hobbs, welcome. Welcome. It's great to have you in here. Uh, John Hobbs and I have gotten to know each other just by sheer bumping into each other, and it's, he's he's a wonderful guy. Uh, and, and a great sense of humor, by the way, guys. Christy, thanks so much for hanging in here. Burpee, yoga, nice uncle, one. the boss. Look at that one. Which is that? The Carolina Reaper. It's like it's oh. three different colors right now because it's in the middle of ripening. You see green, and yellow, and orange. That, I mean, it takes a while to turn. How long will that take? Uh, not sure. I mean, they start, uh, once I get them in my bedroom, uh, they've been ripening within like three, four days. Um, basically, if you're if the weather is warm enough outside, they say uh, you want the temperature to be above 80 degrees, like closer to 90. If the temperature is ideal and uh, the peppers are getting a lot of sun, 
um, from the day you start seeing yellow, they can be fully ripened within two days. The, the condition just has to be right. The way they're going right now, if uh, uh, as long as the frost don't get them first, it may take up to a couple weeks after you start seeing the colors change. So right. it just uh, depends on the conditions outside. <coughs> Here it feels like that seed again. It's really weird. <laughs> I um, luckily, luckily haven't felt that in my stomach yet. I'm just I'm waiting for it though. But, no, I it's mean, it's I right in the back of my throat. It's like uh, it's like there's a seed right here. Um, Big Suds Lawn Care. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, by the way, guys, this is a special shout out to all my moderators today. Um, guys, you cannot have a good channel without great moderators. Um, Patty Fish, thank you. Oak by Bettina, thank you. Um, Sheena Ketivore Life, thank you. Burpee, uh, let me see. Um, Wendy, Southern Sown and Grown, thank you. Um, I want to make sure I didn't miss anyone if I did. Um, give me one second. Donna, thank you. Um, Stickman Outdoors, thank you for, for moderating. Guys, it is so great having the, the best of the best come in here and donate their time to help these things go without a glitch. Thank you so much. Give me one second here. I want to make sure I go through all of them, but I want to make sure I recognize everyone. Emily Blessings, thank you very much, by the way, for helping moderate. Give me one second. And we still have 25 people in here, dude. You know, it's... it's be yeah, it's it's well, it's because of you. Because if it was because of me, then I'd have one person. It'd probably be the janitor, uh, <laughs> and, and and they would have left the room a long time ago. Thank you so much, um, guys. Who our special guest today is Bruce Podslayer uh, Cook, and Bruce and I go way back. Uh, today we did two primatolis at the same time, and so far in my life, I've done uh, probably. One, two, three, I, I build up to them, right? I just taste them to see how much my tolerance is, and then I increase uh, the number. But I ate five at once, and I want to tell you something. That was not something I want to do again. Yeah, even uh, I haven't done that, done that many yeah, at yeah. once. You're brave. <laughs> I have the aftermath of it. I didn't hit the button during the record, which was a sad thing. Um, but I think I, I, was, uh, I was burning. I, I went through two cups of ice on that, Bruce. This one, I thought, was completely controllable. How about you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, William Newell, thanks for coming. Uh, Frugal Mama, thanks for coming. Bless Michelle, thank you for coming. Uh, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you for making the journey here today. Um, and I want to thank especially because without Bruce being here today, it would have just been another Pepper video. And instead... We get to hear a little bit of a background on, on the peppers and how they were grown and who grew them. You get to meet the person. And for whatever that's worth, guys, it means a lot to me. Because when you buy peppers from someone, I don't know where they're grown. I don't know what um, I don't know what the history is. And we know these history. Boy, I'll tell you, these are hot as H-E double hockey sticks, dude. <laughs> Why grow them? <laughs> Well, let me ask you a question, How, just for everyone out there, because everyone wants to, oh, you know, I'm going to grow peppers. I've got, I don't know, 40, 30 pepper plants that I can't get going. And oh. I'm pretty good at this. No, it's okay. It's it's okay. I gotta get a, I'm going to get a greenhouse, and I'm going to start uh, confining the space and controlling the temperature, and I think we might have better luck. Blistering barnacles, thank you. How many years did it take you, Bruce, in order to grow pepper plants decent um actually the first uh year that i uh started doing this was in 2020 and i actually uh, dealt with failure in the beginning of the year um i had first uh watched many youtube videos of other experienced growers and it was just some misunderstandings in the beginning of uh some things i was supposed to do so uh i was getting the wrong soil to start the seed um I was, uh, it, there was like a lot of misunderstandings of what I was supposed to do. So it took uh, literally three attempts to uh, sow seeds, get the seedlings to come up, and get them to survive past seedling stage. 
and then yeah. uh, and I was able to get uh, it done within that first season. Um, now I had started late in the season, so most of my plants uh, did not produce peppers. But I did get uh, I did have like fifteen plants, something like that, out of uh, like fifty that I attempted uh, to produce peppers. Um, I do have it all in my uh, some of my original uh, pepper plant videos. You'll see uh, um, the my progress, and uh, so it, that's once uh, once I figured it out like that third time. Um, I just tried repeating. You know, at the second year, I did have to do things a little different, like with the soil, and uh, I, I ended up I had some failure the second season. Uh, I left shade cloth up too long. I had uh, some. Uh, my roommate's dogs that, you know, contributed to uh, a lot of my plants not, you know, surviving to the end of the season, <laughs> uh, those, that sort of thing. And then uh, this year, uh, I got it down uh, a lot better. And it's going to be better next year. It's getting better every year from what I can tell. I mean, you're getting more comfortable. You know what you're going to do. I mean, you actually have a plan. I mean, it's really, I, I, if you ask Bruce a question about pepper growing, you're going to get an answer. And I'm going to tell you, it's not, it's not just here. Just stick them in a cup. Uh, that's not no. how it's going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to be Definitely not. Um, and, you know, I, I told Jimmy I was going to buy some, some pepper seeds from him, but I can't get these to grow. I just can't. Uh, I don't. I, I have got to talk with you offline, but it's not going to be today. I've got to get back to sleep. Um, the uh, I guess I guess the big deal here um, that I'd like to do is thank you for being here. Um, we've still got we have 21. Thanks for left, having 20, me. Oh, I, I, I loved it. Uh, welcome uh, is uh, all around Sarah. I want to make sure we recognize anyone that came in at the last uh, Ray Baby Metalhead Fisherman. Now, if you can say that five times after three or four glasses of three fingers of whiskey, you're not <laughs> going to be able to. That's like an Irish drinking song all in one name. So uh, I just want to recognize that as, as a great name. I've run into a few names like that. Uh, John Hobbs, thank you for uh, helping out here. Geek Tex, uh, uh, is he Geetalexamy? Uh, channel blog welcome guys here's what i want to do yeah pep, uh, did you get any what kind of peppers did you have by the way wendy really quick if you write that that'd be great um guys i want to make sure we can all move on here and this doesn't end up to be one of those 18 hour videos um and number one uh every all my moderators thank you very much bruce thank you so much for being here i am totally done with the pepper burn uh, and for whatever it is, I'm going to reach out to you in a few minutes. Guys, below, below this, as soon as it posts, give me five minutes, and I'm going to put Bruce Cook's link here. Go follow Bruce Cook and yeah, give him a look. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're going to like his channel because his videos are what? I, they're really simple videos. They're really nice videos. It's not about telling, oh, you know, I'm going to be doing all this. You just eat the peppers, and you take them through the experience, don't you? And just, it's so fun for me to do, and it uh, just puts extra content out there for people to watch when they're bored. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone's telling about their stories with pepper plants. Donna's telling me something about a squirrel. Uh, yeah, she. It, it's my my worst thing. I think are rats. We got a lot of rats that are attacking these things. Here. This is the environment I'm in. Is so hostile that anything that can be used for food is. Uh, five foot. Uh, okay, so she did yellow pepper bells, chili serrano, jalapeno banana, habanero. Yeah, okay. That, very typical. Very typical peppers, aren't they? We got to get you a few super hot seeds, and I have a few too, by the way. Um, Bruce, thank you so much for being here. All the You're members welcome, out, uh, out here, uh, all the the folks out here in chat, thank you for being here. If I could ask you to give the thumbs up on the way out, thumbs up. Number one, to give Bruce Cook recognition for spending time with us. Number two, to help more people see this and introduce Bruce. Five minutes after this, five minutes after this, I'm going to put Bruce Cook's link there. Please go check out a special shout out this week on my Saturday program. Um, because I want to make sure that we can maybe we can give you an extra twenty followers or something. Because I'm telling you, these guys that right. these guys come to a feed, they're going to attack your feed. Um, anyway, thank you so much, and you have an awesome night. Appreciate you being here today. All right, thank you, Johnny. Okay, bye now, everyone. Bye, everyone.